It's been over 80 years since amphetamine was shown to be helpful in treating symptoms of ADHD. Since then, many other forms of stimulant and non-stimulant options have come out on the market. However, if you're a parent of a child with ADHD, you know that these medications don't come without the risk of side effects. So in today's video, I'm going to fill you in on the latest research of a new natural ADHD treatment contender, micronutrients. In the most recent May 2022 issue of JCAP, researchers set out to evaluate whether or not micronutrients are helpful in treating symptoms of ADHD and irritability. This study was a multi-site, eight-week, double-blind, randomized controlled trial, so the gold standard in medicine. They took 135 children aged 6 to 12 with a known diagnosis of ADHD and irritability and took them off all of their ADHD medications for two weeks leading up to the study. They were then randomly assigned to either take a capsule provided by Hardy Nutritionals containing micronutrients, which was made up of vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and antioxidants, or they took a placebo capsule containing cellulose fiber. Okay, so how were symptoms monitored? There were two rating scales that were used to evaluate symptom improvement. The first was the clinician rated clinical global impression, also known as the CGI. And the second was the parent rated child and adolescent symptom inventory five or the CASI five. And the cool thing about this one is that in addition to ADHD, this scale takes into consideration things such as oppositional defiant disorder, disruptive mood dysregulation disorder, and anger or aggression towards peers. The biggest finding was that after eight weeks of treatment, those in the micronutrient group were three times as likely to be treatment responders than those in the placebo group when looking at the clinician rated scale. When looking at the parent rated scale, both groups demonstrated significant improvements in behavior, but neither group was found to be more beneficial than the other. It's worth noting that when looking specifically at symptoms of DMDD, right? So we're really focusing in on the irritability piece here, parents reported nearly twice as much improvement in the micronutrient group compared to the placebo group. And then the other big finding was that those in the micronutrient group grew six millimeters more than those in the placebo group. And we all know that most ADHD medications have the risk of appetite reduction and growth suppression. This study is really interesting because it replicated the findings of a previous micronutrient study that was conducted in 2017 and published by the Journal of Child Psychology and Psychiatry. With this one, those in the micronutrient group had a 47% improvement on the CGI scale, whereas there was only a 28% improvement in the placebo group. Now, what are my thoughts about micronutrients? They might be a good treatment option if one, your child has ADHD, particularly if they're in the 40 to 50% who also have difficulties with emotion regulation. Two, your child has difficulties tolerating ADHD medications because of unwanted side effects. Or three, you're someone who doesn't want your child on an ADHD medication and you'd rather try something more natural. It's worth mentioning that micronutrients have been suggested to be less effective than traditional ADHD medications, such as the stimulant medication methylphenidate. However, many believe that micronutrients are as effective as behavior therapy, which I find to be really interesting considering that behavior therapy takes up a lot of time for many of the families that I work with. And more head-to-head -head trials looking at micronutrients versus the more conventional ADHD treatments are needed. If you think that micronutrients are a good treatment option for you and your family, make sure to talk to your doctor first to make sure this is an appropriate treatment option for you. Now, head on over to the next video to find out more ways you can feel better faster.